Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of our Let's Play here in Minecraft. As you may have just saw, we enabled caves and cliffs, even though it was just dripstone and that other weird thing added, but they just added copper ore to the game and in the world generation. So that means, well, hey, look, I made a new room. Well, that means we need to <laughs> go, go to some newly loaded terrain and, well, start mining. This should be interesting. <sighs> My body. Okay, my sky pack is messed up. <laughs> it's daytime up here, but nighttime down here. Can you believe it? A whole new ore in this game, and I thought the last ore that was gonna be added was the netherite. But yet, here we are. I'm supposed to be mining for netherite today, but I'm already after <laughs> the newer ore. I don't even have enough netherite yet. That's the problem. That's my problem. Oh well, you always know how excited I get for new features. All of my focus has to be put on it. Okay, so the problem with this is, is I don't want to go too far and explore too much because the main purpose of this update is revamping caves and, well, cliffs. So, I gotta pick a direction I don't want to explore too far. Which way should I go? Oh, crap. I won't even know when I reach... Oh, man, this might be tough, guys. I don't even know when I'll reach new terrain to know copper will be there. Alright, I know what we're doing. any arrows come on no all right so I believe this direction is towards the Mesa biome but I'm gonna just try to go far enough to the point where as soon as I come out in a new portal I won't explore too much I'm just gonna load that general area turn down my chunks a bit and just dig straight down I don't know how far I should go hey buddy hey guys oh I don't have gold <laughs> Oh, a new bastion. Haven't been to this one. I know that for sure. We have no time to stop here, though. Oh, I don't know how far I should go, guys. Ugh, I didn't bring my ender chest. I needed to bring my journal so I can write this down. Uh, what on earth was that sound? Who knows? I'll just make it here. Oh, maybe not. You son of a gun. In we go. Okay, definitely haven't been here. It's building new to- what? Wow! I- I like that. <laughs> hey, a new village. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty handy. Oh man, that's perfect. Alright. Let's claim a house. This is it. With my sticks. <laughs> so you guys know what copper is, right? Wow. You see, I'm still coming out of, I guess, the Iron Age. I mean, I've discovered diamonds and stuff, but you guys know what coppers. That's so cool. All right, I can't wait any longer. Let's start digging into the earth, see how rare this ore actually is. I got a feeling it's not that rare. I, 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 I'm assuming it's going to be like iron. So, all right, let's find out. Well, I dug down about 20 blocks here, and I already found some. Look at that. Oh, wow. Whoa, it's kind of like green. All right, so the first one's gonna be mined with stuff. Ah, turned out the light. Well, actually, it's you can mine it with normal, right? Yeah. All right, I gotta go put this one away. This is our first copper block. <laughs> Forgot to bring the dang inner chest. I would have put it in there, but we'll just leave it in that chest in there for now. All right, let's see how much we can get. So the veins look like they're like iron as well. So, all right. Seems like they're pretty common already. Man, my luck sometimes. Coming out of the portal into a village, finding copper immediately to mine down, and then mining perfectly to the point where I walk right into the edge of a mine shaft. <laughs> this is exactly what I need to, because the copper will probably be pretty noticeable in these. Copper, where art thou? I need to make pennies. I haven't seen any yet. I wonder how common it actually is. Maybe it isn't as common as iron. What's that way down there? Oh, it's a chest. Oh, there's some. Oh, there's some more. Yeah. What do we got here? Name tag? Hey, get back here. Aha. <laughs> All right, I'd say it's about as common as iron. We got 33 so far. What's that? <gasps> oh my God. Did we get all, oh, I can't remember. Did we get all of the achievements with this or did we need one more? Oh man, I'm so happy to have that though. I'll check after this. 
I'm telling you, this is all it takes to get my drive back from Minecraft again. It's just new features. And you know what? I, I actually like them adding them a little by little for the Bedrock beta. Hey, brother. Because if they were all added at once, I would probably never focus on one thing like I should. I would probably just jump all around to all the new features. But having to focus on just each one, like this one for copper, what the heck, for example, um, I kind of like because then I'm going to put all my focus on this so we can make a whole lab room. I don't have my electrons on. And that's what we're going to do when we get back. But that's why I hope they just keep updating this game over the next 20 years. <laughs> okay, there's an enderman there. I would like to kill him so I can get... Huh. No! Why'd you do that? Ned oh, there you are. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a butthole. Dang it! I don't want dirt. Oh. What the? Oh, God. I thought that was a void. Oh. I think I got a spawner near me. Uh, I'm not gonna lose a chance to find out if there's maybe another notch apple. I think I found it. Oh god. All right. There we go. What did we get? Another name tag. <laughs> Up to five name tags. And another name tag. Wow. <laughs> Take the gunpowder. Always need that. Not enough saddles. Always take the CDs, though. Could use the bones. <laughs> Whoa. This is like a proper ravine. Hey, buddy. See any copper down there? Oh, uh, no! Ugh. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. See, I was already prepared. I brought a shulker box. Ah. I almost gave up on my trip already. Wait. Why did why did a door just get broke down? Either I'm really close to the surface or there's a stronghold here. I am under a village. Oh. What the, what the? Uh something tells me these villages might not be a lot. Well, they had an iron golem, so they had that going for them. Just get me out here. Yeah. Oh no. Looks good. I think. Well, the trip kind of got ended shortly because I dug up to see what that noise was. But we got almost two stacks. I feel like we can play around with that. I don't want to build any structures with the, like the copper blocks, but I just want to experiment with it. So um I'll carry that in my inventory. <laughs> I guess we're good to go. Now I just gotta try not to die in the lava in the nether. <laughs> happening god i hate that oh wait which way did i come from uh oh um hmm good luck that's all i can say i came from one of these ways oh i gotta figure it out hey another bastion wow <gasps> oh <laughs> oh stop oh my god <clears throat> i'm choking on an almond now why is it all hitting me at once hang on guys i gotta figure out which way to <laughs> okay, I came from this way. Oh. What's that? A water bottle. Wow. <laughs> All right, we are back at the homestead with a new ore, but priorities first. Uh, can I just tab over? Or why is it so complicated? I just want to just put the cursor. Whatever. All right, let's play with our new... Wait, should I actually... Okay. Well, let's go ahead and smelt them here, and then we're going to go build a lab and actually work with them. Um, but the one thing I'm mainly excited about is the lightning rods, because, as you know, I am a victim of many house fires due to lightning, and I'm so glad they added something like this that'll actually help stop that. Ooh. Ooh, I love the color of it. Well, I guess I found a purpose for this room after all. Uh, I just found some space back there and decided... To turn it into something we can use in the future, uh, I guess it's big enough to kind of study 
copper. Study as in, well, I could simply go look at what this stuff does, but also has mechanics such as, what is it, oxidizing? Um, how should I do this entrance? Maybe I need some blocks. Ah, looks weird. The heck? They added goats? Wow. Hey, are they friendly? What do they do? Okay, they kind of, they kind of sk skedaddle when they see. <laughs> Whoa, can I ride them? What happens if I hit one? What? <laughs> Since when did goats make this out? I thought they went like mad, like sheep. That was the noise I was hearing above my lab. Okay, for tests, I'm sorry. Oh God, they dropped mutton, wow. I'm gonna have to make a lab for these guys too. All right, all right, getting the lab going here. Uh, kind of got a research table going. I don't think I want that there. Um, I think I want to be item frames on the table. These are like microscopes. So one will be studying that. Another one, the ore itself. Now, if I remember, how do you craft? Okay, I don't have a craft table. Where is it? Ah, it's so far. There's one closer. <laughs> right here. Oh, oh, there it is. It's that simple. Whoa. Wait, ooh. These can be used for more than just a lightning rod too. Okay, and then here's the block. Oh my gosh. That is a good looking block. Wow, oh wait, but will eventually, oh. Hmm, see that's what we're gonna have to test. Does it turn green in rain or just out in the weather and normally? Ooh, I like the sound it makes. Oh my gosh, that's gonna have so many uses. I mean, look at this, it's already a, I need a block. Just like that, a lamp. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful lamp. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why, why? Why, why is this a bug? <laughs> well, I mean, I know it's beta, but gosh, it's already bugged. I can't even, oh, it's one of those bugs. This, it's been in the game for a while. I don't know, is this block just like messed up now? Yeah, I can't even drop it. Leave my hands. Okay, you will go in timeout then. Okay, so if I create enough of these, I will eventually get that, nice. And then if I keep creating them, what about nine? I got a feeling nine, oh God, nine? Oh no, okay. So I can make one of those and you can make a slab. That looks cool. Oh, I love the sound these blocks make. And I'm assuming there's some way to make the stairs. I'm assuming it's out of this actually. So if I create, oh, I don't wanna make too many of those because then I don't think I can convert it back down. Yeah. Because I want to I want to keep some of my copper ore. I'm assuming that's how you do it, but I don't need to see stairs. So I want to go put a few out in the world and see what happens. I, I if I remember correctly, I think rain is what causes it to change color. Now we wait. Okay, well I can tell you we aren't going to be waiting for these because it takes many many in-game days for these to start oxidizing. And there's actually waxed variants. I'm not sure how. I couldn't find out how, but you can wax them at a certain stage to where they won't oxidize any further. And there's four different stages of oxidizing. Eventually they'll turn almost like a completely dark mint green, which is interesting. So if you really want that block color for a big build in survival, you're gonna have to, well actually you can just build the whole thing out of this color and then wait for it all to turn. <gasps> yeah, maybe we should, oh my gosh. I wanna build like a giant statue out of these and watch it oxidize over time. We're gonna do that, maybe next episode. Oh, that'll be cool. All right, I love how this little lab turned out. It's kind of interesting. Um, store the rest here while we fly back home in silence to test out something. I'll go ahead and answer today's, which comes from Hunter Gracie. What is your worst fear? Huh. Probably gonna want to oh, do this. And I'm gonna make a lot, I didn't even bring, oh, there we go. You don't need to do this in all the points of my house, so that can go there. Well, yeah, I think it said when lightning strikes in a certain radius, it'll all be attracted to a lightning rod. <laughs> so, but my worst fear would probably, you would probably think I would have something like drowning, burning alive, being eaten by shark, spiders, but none of that actually, not even heights. I actually really enjoy the thrill of heights. 
As cliche as it sounds, my worst fear would probably be not doing what I want before my life ends. Although my life will be over, so I wouldn't really feel dread or anything like that. <laughs> but I want to experience all that there is to experience in the world. And if I can't do that by the time I'm old and crippled, I would be very, very disappointed. And I think that is my biggest fear. And also not ending up living a happy life with a wife and like kids and stuff like that. You see, we all have this pictured in our minds of exactly what our lives are gonna be like when we're older, like how happy you'll be, but it'll never end up like. So it's bad to imagine your life exactly how you want it to be because it most likely will not end up like that. I'm not saying it never will, but it is very, it is highly, highly doubtful. I have flower pots up there. I wonder if I can make it up there. So yeah, I'd say that is probably, uh, God, that hurt. <laughs> my worst fear um yeah let me know yours that can go there you see this is close but i feel like i still need to put one over here can i make this oh i can nice there we go just just because my yeah that works <laughs> what if they're very noticeable no not really i like it well, guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Uh, I'm so glad we got these new features and to think that there's going to be a lot more, and I mean a lot more. Can't wait for the amethysts and all that kind of stuff we're going to have to go looking for. Um, I'm going to mess around with this copper stuff in between episodes and possibly get a structure or a statue idea built, and we can build one next episode. I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching.